Hello, my name is Chris Fout. Uh, I've been a member here at New Life for 12 and a half years now. And uh, I just want to share with you how the Lord has showed up in my life in the last 12 years, uh, my walk and my salvation. Um, as a lot of you know, I'm a recovering drug addict. And when I say drug addict, I mean drug addict. I was, I was a full-blown addict. Uh, whatever I could get my hands on, I would, I would do. And uh, to be honest with you, my drug of choice was, was methamphetamine. And uh, unfortunately, I gave 24 years of my life to that stuff, but uh, God sure turned it around in a mighty way. First time I came here to church, I, I lived across the street on 91st Street here. And I remember uh, in my addiction for the last few months, I was just a miserable soul. I was just angry and just very unhappy in a terrible state of depression. I, I was broken. I was definitely a broken soul. Anyways, I would look out across the window, through the window across the street, and, uh, you know, I saw this church over here, and for months I would, you know, tell myself, you know, you haven't been able to do this on your own, so why don't you bring God into the picture, you know? What else do you have to lose at this point, basically? The following day was a Sunday, and as I'm walking over here to this church, I remember three times, specifically three times, that I literally turned around right there in the parking lot. I remember hearing this voice, the devil telling me, you know, nobody knows you're coming. You're not letting anybody down. They're not gonna accept you. You don't fit in here. So many different thoughts were going through my head at the time. And I remember the last time I grabbed a hold of the door handle. And I, and I just stopped and was as I was about to turn back around and walk home, the Lord gave me this little nudge and said, you have nothing to lose, come on in. They're gonna accept you here, everything's gonna be just fine. Jeremiah walked up to me and asked me if I remembered him and asked me what was going on and I shared a little bit of my story with him and I couldn't even get through my story, I was crying so bad. I'm telling you, I was defeated. I was ready to get off these drugs, but they had a hold of me. But in that very moment, he said, hey, I've got somebody that you need to meet. And I remember him walking me back to Pastor Marcus's office. It was like, it was like God was telling him how to pray. I didn't explain to him what had been going on with all the temptations and you know how, how I couldn't get away from it because I was just being tempted on a daily basis. But in the middle of his prayer, he actually prayed for the temptations to stay away from me. The Lord just kept getting into my heart more and more and he, he started giving me a heart of, uh, of love. He started showing me what love was and, and, and he allowed me to share my love with other people. His love was like shining through me to, to people in the church and, and it wasn't long that you know I could see other people coming in that I could tell that they were broken the same way I was broken. And, and God, he always showed up and gave me the words to say to these people, you know, and uh, I just tell you, God has really been a blessing. He's blessed me in the 12 years of my salvation and sobriety. He, is, he has been with me by my side and he has just showed me so much love and just showed me how to love on other people. And uh, it's, just been, it's just been great. It's just been amazing since then. I, there's no other word I can use than, than amazing. This, if it wasn't for New Life Church, I honestly don't know where I'd be in life.